Hello guys, my name is Sasha and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to share with you this brand new recipe. The original Snickers bar gave me idea how to turn it into healthy Snickers cake. It's sugar-free, butter-free and gluten-free. So let's start with a biscuit, with a cake. First of all, we need date paste, basically that's blended dates, 110 grams. Now take only 30 grams of date paste. Add the same amount of peanut butter and the same amount of grated apple or ready-made store-bought applesauce. Mix it and set it aside. Now take three large eggs and whip it with a pinch of salt or a teaspoon of lemon juice. Whip it until you have glossy, light mass. Also add some sweetener to your taste, but do not forget about the dates, they have their own natural sweetness. After that, add our mixture and sift 25-35 grams of cocoa powder. Gently mix it, try not to lose the airness of the dough. Next, of course, flour. You can take any flour you like, gluten-free flour. I'm using whole grain wheat flour, 80 grams. So, take whatever you have. Mix it the same way and add 1 teaspoon of baking powder. Bake it in any form from 16 to 19 cm in diameter. It's gonna take you 35 minutes at 175 degrees Celsius. Check it with a toast prick. In the meanwhile, we are preparing a cream. We need 400 grams of any cream cheese. It can be vegan cream cheese, low-fat cream cheese, basically what you like. You can also add additional flavors like cocoa powder, maybe some date puree, lemon juice or cinnamon, I decided to leave it classic. And the last but not least is caramel. So we have this remaining 90 grams of date puree, add another 60 grams of peanut butter. And we get such a sticky caramel, which is, which is quite a nice option for vegans and just guys who just want some healthy caramel. The cake is baked and you can use it immediately or leave it overnight in the fridge. I'm gonna make two layers, so cut it evenly with a knife, put more than a half of the whole cream on the cake and cover it with the second layer of the cake. I also put some cream on the sides in order to decorate it later. Cover the top of the cake with our healthy caramel. To talk about remaining biscuit cap, just blend it for a couple of seconds until we got such a crumble and decorate the sides of the cake with this crumble. Our last step is to sprinkle the caramel with crushed roasted peanuts. It took me up to 50 grams and voila, everything is ready. I did not have time to let it soak and still it's very easy to cut because it's very soft. Look at this insanely beautiful cut. All the layers are perfectly visible and it tastes just magical. Try to recreate my recipe at home and let me know what you think in the comments down below. Thank you guys for watching. Bye. See you.